to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as we do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah amen and for those of you that have subscribed i pray may god grant you your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen my people the battle has started the big battle has started <laughs> for those of you that don't know jealousy frustration heartbroken fear have lead judy austin to the worst judy austin have done the worst judy austin have started a battle that she cannot end <laughs> my people who gezu j who gezu have called pete doshe telling pete doshe that the battle that he don't know have started hey, hey. do you know what it is for somebody to start a battle on you when you don't even know that they are fighting you spiritually according to the information that he tell our table my people they said that judy austin the mother and the sister three of them they have joined their hands together to fight this battle according to the information judy austin and the family when i tell you now say these people eh, they need to be dealt with spiritual not physical a lot of people think that i'm a spiritual person or i have something to do with spirituality but the fact remains that when you have to deal with the devil the devil cannot be seen physical you deal with the devil spiritually that is what judy austin represents forget what you see physical about judy austin judy austin is a pure python serpent in the spirit world and she represents wickedness she don't have emotions she don't have feelings somebody that cannot defend a friend when they were dragging her this is a friend that went far for you that tells you who judy austin is my people let me go into today's information mm. ugezu j ugezu the man fighting the battle for the edoshe family lately if you notice you will notice that the edoshe family a lot of them things have changed the children the siblings the grandchildren a lot of things have changed since ugezu j ugezu entered into this family now they said ugezu j ugezu called pete doshi and asked pete doshi are you ready for this battle pete doshi said what battle again the one we have at hand is what we are still fighting for they said ugezu told pete doshi that there is a battle declared in the spiritual world against you your name has been taken far <laughs> they said Peter doshe opened the smart and said how come my name is being taken far who gezu gezu said that we explain according to who gezu gezu <laughs> he told Peter doshe that the battle has started there is no time to waste because something have been done in the spiritual world. my lovely fans <laughs> judy austin the mother and the sister all these things happening they went to look for the roots of the matter this is what i explain every time when you have a problem look for the roots without the getting root to the root of the problem you go nowhere judy austin went to look for the roots of this whole problem according to judy austin and her family sarah marshes me edoshe you edoshe are not their problem the problem is who is spoiling their charms who is bringing their powers down 
who is making them not to get what they want. My people, they went into their spiritual world and they find out that everything was coming from Pet Edoshe household. They said in Pet Edoshe household that a lot of things have been done there. They started doing some kind of rituals to remove all the powers of Judy Austin planted to manipulate the Edoshe family. She has been doing a lot of things with the Edoshe family. Even some of the brothers of Yul Edoshe were supporting her. It was not with their clear eyes. The only person that Judy Austin charm did not bring down was Lincoln Edoshe and Josephine Edoshe. Now they said Judy Austin, the mother and the sister, they went into spiritual. They went into their spirituality and they find out that Pet Edoshe is the cause of their problem. According to what they said, they said if Pet Edoshe have not removed some charms buried spiritually, these charms were not buried physically. They were buried spiritually. And I have done my research. These charms were prepared by Judy Austin, grandmother, which is the Eze wine of all the Eze wine of the water of the goddess, the goddess of the water. My people, they say these charms, Judy Austin and the grandmother, they will disappear, hold their hands together, disappear into where they want to bury the charms. And they will dig spiritually and bury spiritually. But by the time Ugezu Gezu entered into the Edoshes family, they started seeing those things they bury spiritually. It was not coming out physically. So with all those things being uprooted, <laughs> With all these things being found, burnt, Judy Austin powers became weak. So Judy Austin and the sister with the mother, they went to search the reason why everything is going bad. Why even Sarah Marshes that Judy Austin took to her kingdom, somebody she manipulated, automatically her eyes clear. It was a big surprise to Judy Austin. So that was the reason they went to check in the spirit world. This check they went to check. It is not going to native doctor. It is not going to pastors. I always tell you people that Judy Austin combined with the mother and the sister. They can do any spiritual things. Those people are highly spiritual demons that you don't know. They are demons in human form walking on earth. <clears throat> Antichrist in Enugu now and see for them. So, my lovely fans, according to the information, they said they went into spiritual and they called a lot of deities that they worshipped in the river and they complained and cried unto them. And they told them that their problem is coming from Pet Edoshe's compound. Pet Edoshe has stand to destroy a lot of powers that Judy Austin planted even before she gave birth to Stadike. From the dating of Yule Edoshe, from when she started pinning Yule Edoshe down to turn against his wife, she has already planted those charms. To bring the Edoshe family down so that by the time she enter, all of them go quiet, nobody go fit talk. So, my lovely fans, they told her that her problem is from the Edoshe's family. It's from a pet Edoshe compound. And pet Edoshe is the one personally operating with those charms. <laughs> He's the one that is uprooting and burning the charms. He is the one giving them authority. He is also the one that invoked the spirit of his ancestors that are fighting against anything that will affect their generations. They said the only solution for Julie Austin is to buy uh, Peter Doshi from the road. 
You like Joshua have to remove petted. You the Austin have to remove petted Doshi from the road. If petted Doshi can go, they said the Doshi family will bow down and worship to the Austin. <laughs> My people, desperate family, frustrated family, heartbroken family. They were so eager to do that without thinking twice. You see the reason when I tell you that Judy Austin is heartless. Forget what you see in the social media. Forget her physical appearance. Talk about her spiritual appearance. That is what is important. Because she is not an ordinary being. That's why I always talk about her spiritually. When you talk about her physical being, what do you have to say about Judy Austin? Coming out in social media, dancing, smiling. Is that what you have to say about Judy Austin? Somebody that breaks another woman's home and still causes her pains. You want to tell me that that person is using the heart that God put there or is the heart of the devil. So, my lovely fans, Judy Austin, as wicked as she is, when the deities of the seas gather, they went as far as inviting the deity of the seven seas. And this is where they went to do their confirmation. And they told them that the only solution now to remove Peter Doshi for good. Judy Austin, without even thinking twice, asking question if there is other option, she said she's okay. That, they, that is what they want. That is what she will do. That she is going to cut off Peter Doshi from the road. Because they told her that when Peter Doshi is off, the all of the Doshi family will bow down and worship you like the queen you are. My people, <laughs> my lovely fans, <laughs> Judy Austin and her family, right now did not think twice before submitting pet edoshi to the seven deities of the seven seas according to the information according to what they said that ugezu told ugezu j ugezu told pet edoshi he told him that the battle has started because judy austin have carried this matter to the seven deities of the seven sea. Judy Austin is the queen of the river, not the sea. There is difference between the river and the sea. Judy Austin went as far. Taking somebody to the river is understandable. To the sea, we are all demons, that we are all angels, that God threw away from heaven fell into the rivers, into the sea. Judy Austin went to call seven deities from the seven sea and called Peter Doshi name to them. These seven deities now, Judy Austin has submitted Peter Doshi to them as the battle has started. These are deities that have no mercy. These are deities that don't look back. These are deities that don't want to know who is wrong and who is right. These are deities where you send them, go for this, they go. Anything you tell them to do, they do. They don't ask questions who is wrong and who is right. The belief that anybody that summon them <laughs> is the right, is the person that is right. That is how they judge. Now, Ugezu Gezu said, as he was about to leave the house, something struck him back and he fell. When he took out his cola nuts and his cowries, when he poured it, the ancestors of the Edoshi were standing angrily and they told him that he should help. He should help their son, Peter Dushi, because they've taken him to the great deities of the seven sea. My people, who gezu gezu say, now so the message they come to her. 
when he went to check into his calories, he found out that Judy Austin, the mother, and Augusta, they were the one that did it. My people, <laughs> and quickly, Ugezu called Peter Doshi, and warned Peter Doshi, anything concerning river, bridge, it should not go for this period. Anywhere where they put bridge, where there be river, anything concerning to the marine kingdoms should be forbidden for him now. Anything coming out from the sea, fish, uh, crayfish, anything eatable from the sea should be renounced by Pet Edoshi. He should not eat anything that comes from the sea. He should renounce everything that has to deal with water. Hmm. The only thing that he can drink is water. He can drink water. But anything that is produced from that river, from this produced in the sea, you let those should avoid it for now. And anything concerning crossing of bridge, you let those should avoid it for now. He said, uh, sorry, Peter Doshi. And he told Peter Doshi that what he should do every night before he sleeps. <laughs> My people, what does that do? Who Gezu Gezu told Peter Doshi that before he sleeps every night, make sure that the pictures of his ancestors is being put in, in the front of the door. He can put that of his father, his grandfather, any of the ancestors, he can put their pictures there. Then he has to take seven cola nuts. My people, seven cola, seven calories, seven alligator pepper. He should put it in his door step this will make them not to come in this will stop them from coming to him when he's asleep because you know that the enemy they attack more in the night in the night when we are sleeping we don't even know where we are the spirit is gone traveled out let me tell you something about spirituality this is not spirituality let me tell you something about when we sleep when we sleep our spirit go off the spirit went our spirit when we are sleeping our spirit is not in us is walking it goes out of us wandering that's why you see yourself you'll be dreaming you see yourself you are in lagos when you are in uh, example you are in abuja you see yourself in lagos or you see yourself travel to your village you see yourself with your spirit the spirit is wandering is walking around so when the enemy comes, they can attack you because your spirit is not in with you that moment. You have only your flesh on the, on the bed. Your spirit have traveled. Your spirit have gone far. <laughs> so that's why in the night, the enemy, they like attacking. Because you are, it's like you are helpless. You are not, you are not strong. You have, your spirit is not with you. So they have more power to attack. So that's why they told Pet Edoshi that these things should be put in the door when they are sleeping. For the ancestors, those things when they put it on the door, the ancestors will be sitting there. Any evil they will chase. Good ones will be welcomed. Evil ones they will chase. So my people, they said that was what Ugezu Gezu told Pet Edoshi to do. That then he will personally go to Pet Edoshi. And they will do the rightful rituals for those seven deities of the seven sea that Judy Austin called on Peter Doshi, selling Peter Doshi to the seven seas. Ah, my people, see daughter-in-law where people won't carry enter house. See the kind of woman where you let Doshi go bring. No wonder the father said, a man got infested firewood. Aye. The name fit Judy Austin. Somebody that is so desperate that is ready to buy somebody just for her to get what she wants. That is how wicked Judy Austin is. Thank God for Ugezu, J. Ugezu, that is giving happy hand to the Edoshe family. One day, now so we go there, we go here, say Pet Edoshe. They'll say, after all, it don't hold. 
Maybe he was sick. Maybe he had one leg problem. Now, so they'll just talk and reach. But thank God of Ugezu Gezu when he exposed you the Austin right now. So, my people, they said that is what they told Peter Doshe. And that is what Peter Doshe is going to do right now. Because if you not do one, hey, hey, I pity now. If you not do one, those people have gone far. Far, far, far. This spiritual, this date is the call. It's not physical calling, spiritual calling. You see why I tell why I'm talking about spiritual. If you are talking about Judy Austin, eh, and you are talking about Judy Austin physical, that means you don't know Judy Austin. Judy Austin is a spiritual person. She goes and fights in the spiritual with everybody. There is no body that has to do with that is physical. It is all spiritual. So let me end this video here. I will come back and give you more information because I have a lot that have come to me about this case on how Judy Austin went as far to invite the spirit of the seven seas, the deities of the seven sea, my people, that is the wicked of the wicked. People that understand what I'm saying, they will know what it is. A lot of people don't understand. When I meet the seven deities of the seven sea, the seven demons representing the seven sea. If you are a Christian, let me put it like that. Because the way I'm saying it is in a traditional way. So a lot of people will not understand. The seven demons representing the seven seas. That is what she called. Not the gate, not the gate washers. The seven gods, the seven demons. Christians will put it like that. Seven demons. Representing the seven seas is what Judy Austin carried Peter Doshe's name to. Just because of her jealousy, desperate, and frustrated, heartbroken life that she chose for herself. Now she's involving people into her own mistake. So guys, I will end this video here and I will come back for more information. Stay tuned to this channel and make sure you subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Inshallah. Amen. And for those of you that are subscribed, may the light of God shine upon you and your family in Jesus' name. Inshallah. Amen. Thank you guys for